this. Wait, sir. Honey, I don't think you're pregnant. Well, I know you're not pregnant. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> oh, I found another kick. It's gas. You got gas. Let it rip. <laughs> I can't do that in front of my husband. He's over there. It's okay, honey. Just let it rip. I think she's playing games with us. <laughs> I'm not playing games. I am pregnant. All right, then. When are you due? <laughs> in six weeks. Did you take a pregnancy test? <laughs> yeah. I see. Um, maybe it was a false positive. <laughs> no, it's not. I'm pregnant. <laughs> I want babies. Who's the daddy? Because I know it ain't Tigger. He ain't got no cherry. He had them suckers whacked off a long time ago. Whack, whack. <laughs> Tigger's the daddy. <laughs> I can't wait. They're going to be beautiful like him with long hair. Weezer, I think you're going to be disappointed in six weeks. Well, I tell you one thing. I hope they're more focused than he is. <laughs> ain't he beautiful? He has absolutely no clue that we even talking over here. <sighs> I need a root beer. So I'm not going to be the baby no more. Rude, you big horse. I'm going to smack her. She calls me a horse one more time. I am the king of the double white. Willow, how did this happen? Do I look like everybody's therapist? I'm retired. I'm going to live out the rest of my days sunbathing in this winter. Well, we have been together a long, 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 long time. I need your help. Now get up. I ain't getting up. I got ears. I'm listening. <clears throat> Hang on. I got to get comfortable. All right. What's your question? How did this happen? I don't know. That'll be $475. I am not paying you any money, you quack. Now help me or I'm going to smack you. You touch me and you're going to get the praising paws, boy. Now, go on, leave me alone. I just don't understand. All we do is lick noses. I'm going to be a daddy. You got a job yet? Yep, I got a job. I'll start next week. What you going to be doing? I'm a funeral director and a grave digger. Now, Tigger, you know good and well them drifters are going to be following you home. No, I can send them to the white light. I tell you what, there's a flea or something on me. Me and this flea finna have a come part Jesus meeting. I ain't the one flea. Weezer, honey, you have to eat something. <laughs> I can't. I got morning sickness. But it's 2 o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> I have afternoon sickness, too. Okay, Weezer, well, let's go to the vet and get you checked out. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! I feel great. You gotta go. We gotta make sure the babies are okay. <laughs> Leave me alone! <laughs> Mama, you have upset my wife. It's okay, Weezer. You don't have to go. <laughs> She ain't going anywhere, Mama. No, Weezer. Come on now. <laughs> Don't you take me a present? Oh, Tigger, how was your first day at work? I ain't never seen so many drifters in all my life. Here, let me help you. Thank you, Mama. Well, tell me about your day. I had to send forward to the red light. Oh, no. Oh, they were so bad. I had to get my Bible out on one of them. I just couldn't wait to come home, drink my apple juice, and get me a snack. Here, I'll help you again. Thank you, Mama. How's your eye doing? You didn't get no dirt in your eye today, did you? No, I don't think so. But it is feeling better. We had a preacher in there today. Oh, really? Yeah, he was a good, good man. He prayed for my eye before I sent him to the white light. Oh, I seen Clementine. She had a soldier with her. A soldier? Yeah, he was a soldier back in the 70s. Give me back my snack. You better back up, boy. Give me my snack, Mama. Digger, I'm trying to push it up. There. Thank you, Mama. Tell me about the one you had to get the Bible out for. His eyes turned red. He had a black soul. He was an SK. He called himself the Paper Route Massacre. He took 83 lives of all ages when he would deliver the paper. If he seen you out, you was good as God. And he never got caught, because he was smart. They're all scattered all about around Ponderosa Lake. Sometimes if he didn't see anybody out, he would break into people's houses and eat their cookies. 